everyone. Well, so how do you decompress or release your stress? I don't know, whatever that you want to call it. So I am on here live because last week I had started a painting that um, I was working on during the virtual paint night and I didn't get to finish. So wait, why does my thing look like that? Oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> so I figure I'm gonna jump on here and just kind of invite you to come and paint with me <laughs> as I finish my painting today. So if you're watching this live, welcome. Welcome to joining me painting live. And if you put it in the comments where you're coming from or who are you, say hello. You know, this whole, whole routine and all that stuff. So in a moment, I'm going to turn my camera around so you can see what I'm doing. And this is the painting that I was working on the other day that I didn't get to finish. So I wanted to finish it. So you're gonna actually come and watch me to finish. So I'm gonna switch my camera so you can see what I'm working on. So that is the painting. I know the color kind of sucks, right? Yeah. But that is the painting that I was working on the other night at paint night. And I didn't get to finish this because I was not inspired to finish it. <laughs> and sometimes you're like that, you know, like for me, to do an art, sometimes it takes a couple of uh, days, hours, because I need to feel inspired to finish it. And I wasn't inspired that very same night to finish it. So I decided to hold it off until today. And today I was finishing my workout and then I realized that, you know, I think today would be a good day to paint. So I am going to paint. <laughs> this is what I have left off the other day on paint night. And basically, if I were to uh, bring the camera closer, you can see it. So it has textures on the canvas. And I kind of drew um, guided lines. So this is a mandala painting. And what I'm going to go is I'm going to go back and then finish all the filling and all the blank and all the rest of it. And you get to watch me and doing that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, right, huh? So cool. I love it. So I don't know what you are up to today, but last night I started watching this new um, show on Netflix and it's called 3%. And I thought I'd share with you while I'm painting this. So the show is called 3%. And basically the story plot is that I'm actually going to draw lines. The story plot goes that only 3% of the people in a society will get to advance to the next, to the next um, society. And the society is much more um, prosperous because there's no hunger there's more peace, there's no more joy and all that, you know, good stuff that people are looking for. And in order to be part of that society, you would have to um, get selected. So there's this interview process where you go through and you get selected or eliminated by the interviewer. So I started to watch the show and now I'm on season two and it's, it's a very interesting show. So in order to qualify for being in the, the candidate for the next selection, you will have to um, go through tests. And the way that you go through these tests are basically it tests your characters. Right? Do you have compassion? Do you have love? Do you care about other people? Um, if you do, then you may actually get eliminated or you get advanced into the next level. So I was watching it and it was, it's very thought provoking. So these are metallic paint that I have that I purchased when I was doing these uh, mandala 
Um, and I love how it's metallic because then you can see and it actually shines when you reflect light on it. So, so this thing is very therapeutic and very relaxing for me because then I can sit here and just keep on dotting things. <laughs> and you know, you don't have to know how to paint. You just have to know how to dot. Can we all dot? Can we all do circles? Yeah, absolutely. You can all sit there and then, you know, just lay down a couple of patterns and then you can start dotting it and filling it with color. We can all do that. It doesn't require you to have any artistic skill whatsoever. And it's relaxing. I don't know about you, but I feel like really relaxed. <laughs> and so I put my music on. I have my, um, you know, drink on the side. That's how I spend my Sunday. How about you? How do you spend your Sunday? Spending your time at the pool, maybe reading. What are you reading? What books do you suggest? Uh, we'll adjust the camera just a little bit. Right here. There we go. So the paint that I am using, actually, it's, um, you can use this on a porcelain. So it, you can actually get um, like mugs. This is the paint that I am using, you can paint it on mugs, and it comes out very nicely. Okay, next one. I'm going to stay with gold. Trace the line. So before I was a coach, I had this uh, Etsy shop and I was selling these uh, painting and art stuff on the Etsy shop. It was a hobby. So, so if you were to look for the silver lining in our lives, right? This is the silver lining in our lives. So I use art to, um, to, to really to distract myself from that, that constant self-talk going on. And, and as I was distracting myself with this, I started to look into, well, since well, I'm not doing it, why not, why not monetize it? <laughs> So that was the silver lining behind all this. And, and now people ask me, Michelle, how do you, how do you create these um, posters? How do you create these graphics? How do, you, how do you build your website and all things like that? Well, you know, those are the things, those are, those are the product from my moments 
of self-doubt and worry and all that negativity that was going on in my life because I actually spent time in, in, in learning them and investigate, in, investing them. And so now it's just a product. I'm just a product of my own grind. And thank you, Michael, for saying that. I am a product of my own grind. So how do you draw these circles? It's very simple. You get one of those, um, you know, we all use this in the past, right? The student's compass. You draw circles on your canvas, trace them over, and then you come back and you do lay, lay them with paint. So, so far, that's what it looks like. And then I'm going back in here to fill in some colors. See, I gotta check my camera so that you can see. Yeah. So these are the pearl panels. There you go. Thank you. 
So sometimes I get onto the YouTube and I'm watching people to um, paint and it takes me hours to just watching them and, and it feels very therapeutic. I don't know about you, but like sometimes it feels just feel very therapeutic to watch um, someone doing this. <laughs> and um, I was having a conversation uh, last week on my coffee talk. I was talking to uh, my guest, my guest speaker, uh, Ross, Rosalind. And then she said that one of her video actually went viral and, and, and there was like over thousands of people viewing it because she was just talking random stuff. And so I'm really curious, like what's up with people <laughs> when you're actually teaching them some very important lessons or teaching, you know, no one's watching it. Like people just tap out of it, right? But when you're watching something that's very random and just like out of the blue and for no reason, like plan with me. Um, everyone wants to see everyone else's journal. So I can spend hours watching someone uh, planning in their journal. And I, I usually, if I can enlarge the, um, the view, I would, because I want to see what they wrote in their journal. <laughs> I think we all have that tendency of pride, tapping into someone else's privacy. What is up with that? But yeah, I can do this for hours and time just go by really quickly. Maybe this is something that you wanted to learn too. Hey, it, isn't it fun? And you don't need to uh, know how to paint. You just have to know how to put down circles. You just, yeah. So these actually, um, you'll, you'll see it on the paint, it actually has textures. So if I were to do this, you can see that it has a kind of like 3D effect on the canvas. And when you see it live, it's very different from just, so it has textures. Textures, texture, texture. You can touch it, it's like pearl, really cool.
So if I were to really do this, just spend my whole day in doing this, I can have the painting done by just a couple of hours. But if I get distracted or if I'm not inspired to finish it, then it will take me weeks, sometimes a month. Stigman, my thing. <laughs> well, I I drew I drew a lot of um, stick figures, and they're, they're I post them on my uh, Instagram. So every every um, I think every other day. No, well, so I draw uh, these uh, stick figures, and I post them on my Instagram. So they are at uh, Elevate Life Coach. If you go follow me, there's like a whole series of of uh, these stick figures. And, and I like stick figures because it's simple. I can, everybody can draw <laughs> with a stick figure. There's a difference between, yeah, thank you. There's a difference between uh, the advanced stick, stick figure versus uh, just, you know, stick figures. Advanced stick figure, I, I think I showed this um, to, to you guys uh, once before. Advanced stick figures, you actually draw shadows. So yeah, <laughs> there's a different way of drawing stick figures. I like stick figures. Oh, we had trouble playing this video, why? I wonder why. So paint is a lot easier than ink. Um, so if you have followed me before, you know I had a session where I was using the ink rather than the paint. So the ink actually takes longer. Um, so these are example of ink and it's more detail. I have like been hours dotting these. This is a, it takes more time. But the good thing about ink is I just need a piece of paper and pen, and then I can bring it everywhere. So I've been working on this one for the longest time. Yeah, this is an elephant. And I've been working on it for the longest time. I started and then I kind of just, I wasn't inspired. <laughs> so I stopped. 
And this one is easy because it's a simple pattern. And again, there's like these details. So yeah, ink is a lot easier than the paint. The paint, I actually have to set it up and take some more work. So this one, it was not a perfect triangle. Oh well, who needs to be perfect anyway? There it is. So that's how it looks like for now. It's not that bad, right, huh? Okay. Yeah, so I'll go back and finish these, the last layer, kind of going around and doing the same thing. Um, so I'll fill in the blanks, the triangles, so you look almost look like a sun. It does, huh? Yeah, and that is going to go onto my wall. So my plan for the, these um, painting is that Maybe by the end of the year, I can do a raffle. <laughs> I can do a giveaway for everybody. And that will be your Christmas present. Huh, right? Yeah. So if you've been following me for the whole entire year, then maybe we can come up with a way that you can win my prize. And the prize would be all these painting on my wall. So I have a lot of painting on my walls right now. So I would love to give them away. I'll show you. So yeah, I'll show you my paintings on the wall. Yep, there's my artwork, my corner, little corner of art studio. So all those paintings on my wall will have to be raffled off. Or when we go back to in-person networking, um, then I, maybe I can bring them to um, my networking event and just kind of raffle them away in exchange of something yeah anyway i don't know well that is it for my paint with me little afternoon sunday afternoon session and hopefully you enjoyed watching it and maybe it'll inspire you to tap into your creative side and how do you how do you release your stress how do you decompress the week you know ahead of you or getting ready for the next week coming up um, is by doing something that you enjoy, whatever it is, you know, for me, it was painting for you, it may be something else. It may be, you know, riding a bicycle, it may be just sitting by the pool and reading, whatever it is that makes you feel you lost track of time, that is what you do to do more of and that will help us reset our button and also just rejuvenate. And that will bring back 
that balance into our life. So what is it that you do that you enjoy that may keep you on the creative side? Do more of that. And that's it for Paint With Me. And I'm going to go back and finish my painting. Bye.